Five things players dislike about Days Gone. Generic. Days Gone does little to set itself apart from other games in the open world genre. Day and night cycle? Check. Crafting? Check. Climbing towers? Check. Marking enemies? Are you starting to kind of understand where I'm getting at here? It's a very samey game. If you're expecting this to bring something new to the table, well, you're ultimately going to be disappointed because Days Gone does nothing to push the open world genre forward in a way that makes sense. And that's disappointing. The developers and their lack of experience. Siphon filter games are awesome. Well, they were, at least back in 1999. But the developers behind Days Gone, they haven't necessarily done anything as of late. In fact, their last game that they put out was a PlayStation Vita title, if that tells you anything. They don't have any experience, and I mean any experience, in making an open world game. And I think ultimately, I think it shows, man. Zombies. If you're gonna throw in zombies here into your game, you really have to kind of think outside the box and say, okay, how do we incorporate zombies into our game that makes them feel fresh and unique and interesting? And unfortunately, Days Gone, they didn't really hit that. Because the freakers here in this game yeah, they have hundreds and hundreds of, you know, zombies chasing you throughout the game and all of that stuff and hordes and, okay, cool, but it's like, dude, th this isn't anything new. Dead Rising did this a long time ago. Not in a similar fashion of, okay, World War Z type zombies, but you know what I mean. They had hundreds and hundreds of zombies on the screen way back using 2005 technology. So if the whole showcase here is to say, hey, look, we spent four or five years developing this game, and we have hundreds and hundreds of zombies using the modified Unreal Engine 4 running on PS4. If that's all you have to show for, if that's really the showcase, the highlight here for Days Gone, then, well, that's really just not all that fantastic. The point is, zombies are getting old. You really, if you're gonna use them, you have to do something new with them. DLC. You know this game's already in the shitter when they've already announced DLC and a post-release roadmap for what's to come after the initial release for Days Gone Here. It's disgusting, to be frank. Why talk about DLC? Why talk about what's coming after the launch? Oh, I know. Because that gives gamers an incentive to go out and pick this up if they know something is coming down the road. Even if it's not free, they don't care. They don't think about what they're spending their money on. They just say, hey, shut up and take my money. Unfortunately, that's the case. Last but not least, this game is stuck in the past. If Days Gone came out in 2009, I would have been way, way more impressed than I am with it here today in 2019. It really does feel like a last generation title that seemingly somehow snuck its way onto current hardware. And I think ultimately, at the end of the day, it shows. So those are five things players dislike about Days Gone. Stay tuned for a real, raw, honest review coming soon once Days Gone hits the store shelves. Thanks for watching.